Oh my god. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first day of vlogmas 2019 i'm so excited i can't believe vlogmas is here already <laughs> um so this morning as you saw i just got back from being home for thanksgiving break so my flight got in and i ubered back here and i was just unpacking and decorating for christmas put my little santa up right there i also dusted and vacuumed everything and i'm like in the process of unpacking, not quite there yet, but I just like really wanna go grocery shopping and get that out of the way now because I have so much to do today, you guys. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's time for question of the day. I'm gonna do them at the beginning of the videos again. So today's question of the day is, what is your favorite Christmas song? Um, and mine is Arrival by Sarah Brightman for like my all time favorite Christmas song, but like out of classic Christmas songs, it's Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. So comment down below what your favorite Christmas song is. back from the store now. I went to CVS and got some more soap and trash bags for our bathroom because we were out and I had coupons so that worked out well. And then I went to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and spent a whole bunch of money. It was a lot, <laughs> but this is my last like big grocery haul before finals. I'm still gonna go like next weekend just to like run out and get some like produce and stuff. But yeah, this is basically my last big haul. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it cheap for, for the next week, but. I'm gonna show you what I got. It's a lot of stuff. Trader Joe's was a madhouse today. It was so busy and I forgot to get a candle. I'm so mad because at home, mom and I went to Trader Joe's like just two nights ago and I was like, oh my gosh, look at these candles and they were so cheap and they smelled so good. And I was like, well, I'll just get it in Long Beach because I don't want to have to like transport it. And then I forgot like a dodo, maybe next week. But then at that point, we don't even have that much time left. But anyway, okay, so we'll start over here. I got some blueberries and strawberries, sourdough bread, a big thing of coconut milk, some egg whites, this giant thing of basil, because that was all they had, bananas, cucumber, spinach, lemons, avos, um, tomatoes and peppers for the dinner that I'm making, two things of peanut butter. I got this cauliflower stir fry with veggies. So I decided to try that out. I like having frozen things on hand especially during finals, so I have a couple things in there. So I think I'm only gonna make like two big dinners and then probably just eat like frozen stuff or whatever, or like eat at the dining hall because I think Grace has some extra swipes. But, and even if I don't use them, they'll last until next semester. And then I got these, which I'm about to eat for lunch right now. It's a little bit late for lunch, but <laughs> it's okay. And then I got this cashew fiesta dip. It's dairy free, so I thought I'd try it with these. Of course, my obsession. <laughs> Um, and these are seaweed strips for sushi. The thing about these is like, they're so good that I just love eating them plain. I like don't even want to put anything on them, but I thought it would be fun to try. And then I got this. This is like my big treat because Nanamu ice cream is really expensive. I need to put this in the freezer, but they have peppermint bark. Nanamu is like my favorite ice cream ever, you guys. Oh, their mint chip is usually the one I get, but I decided to try this one. And then, yes, I did buy another one of these bars. <laughs> I'm no longer restricted to just this chocolate, but it was so good. And I probably won't get it again, but or just as a treat, but I just want to try it. Guys, it's cashew butter, raspberry, and dark chocolate. 
Those are three of my favorite things. I'm just so excited about this. I got some Go Macro bars for like running around at school or whatever. They're good snacks. And then I got caramel sea salt coconut butter cups. Two of these unreal. Um, why is the packaging different? That's weird. But <laughs> the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And I'm trying these dark chocolate coconut bites. I got two of these turmeric ginger shots, one with cayenne, one without, just thought I'd try it. And two kombuchas, which I got for free. They're the ginger kind. I got them for free with uh, coupons, so that was nice. It was so good and now I need to work on my paper. So as you guys know from previous vlogmases, it goes through finals so it's just kind of icky. I'm just gonna have a lot of homework but I'm gonna try to make it fun and like show more of my days I guess because I really want to commit to like vlogging and like including like more of my friends and stuff because usually I don't like pull my camera out at like work or whatever and like obviously I wouldn't pull my camera out at like work work but like in the conference room like with my coworkers, um not like during a session <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying on that note can we just can we just it was so nice to have a week off from work like I feel rejuvenated <laughs> it was so nice to have a week off in general <laughs> anyway thanks to my mom motivating me to get my work done. I actually got a lot of this paper done at home. It's due Tuesday night. I kind of have like one more big section of it to do with kind of two subsections within that. So I'm gonna try to write one of them now and the other one tonight. I have some rice going that I'm gonna make sushi with for this week. So I'll probably do that and this and then I'm gonna go work out because I actually feel like pretty good and like I could have a really solid workout today which would be awesome because I've been having trouble sleeping <laughs> and I think the exercising more would probably help with that so I'm gonna try to go go hard today if you know what I'm saying and on that note let's just talk about how I've been feeling because that's what my last couple videos are about I feel great right now stomach wise I'm really bloated but it's not the painful bloating it's just the like things aren't moving the way they're supposed to bloating. That just happens all the time. Um, but I don't have a headache right now. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it, knock on wood. It, I don't even know guys, this was so weird. So my mom and I went to our massage therapist um, on Tuesday and she was like, wow, like you're so like out of whack, like your neck's messed up. And like, she could tell just by like, I, I don't even know. <laughs> it was like just like tracing my midline that my digestion was off and stuff. And she worked on me for an hour and a half and I felt fine for the next three days, guys. Like I, my digestion was better. It wasn't perfect, but I was not, I was not bloated. And I didn't have headaches. Even on Black Friday, like when I got up early and which would totally usually gives me a headache, I didn't have one. It wasn't like I thought, oh my gosh, it's fixed, but I thought that it was like really nice and maybe it helped. But then yesterday I had a really, really bad headache all day and like the whole brain fog, like the whole nine yards and digestion problems as well. But I don't know. We're just going to feel it out and see. We have another appointment in December, so I don't expect that to like fix everything. Like I'm still going to go to doctors, but like maybe there is something to that as well. I don't know, we're just gonna see. But I'm feeling good. I'm gonna force myself to do some homework. Okay guys, so paper's going okay. I didn't quite finish the first section. Well, I, I can't even say quite, I didn't finish it, but I worked on it and I'm meal prepping. So this is cucumber sushi. My avocados obviously aren't ripe yet because I just got them today. So this is two rolls cut up and this is what I'm having tomorrow for lunch and then I have two more. I'll cut up for Tuesday and then I'll make it again. I'm gonna make another batch of rice so that I have it for Wednesday and Thursday and then I can actually use the avocados at that point. So yeah, and it's like, it's getting dark out and I just, I need to work out so that I can make dinner and yada, yada, yada. So I'm gonna go work out now. I'm also gonna have this baby. Probably gonna gag. These things are always just, ugh. Oh my God. Oh, hell no. That is so spicy. 
I'm never getting it with cayenne again, holy crap. Not that these are supposed to taste good, but like that burned my entire mouth. I need coconut milk now. Don't you think that it's boring how people talk? Making smart with the words again. Well, I'm bored. Because I'm doing this for the thrill of it, killing it. Never not chasing a million things I want. That was a freaking workout, you guys. I was not kidding when I said I had so much energy. Like, I feel like usually for workouts, I just like go and kind of force myself. I mean, some days I have more energy than others, but like a lot of times, even if I feel like I have energy, I still just feel like really tired and like wanting to like take huge long breaks between each exercise. But like I was just like going for it today. I did my warm up exercises with bands and then I ran half mile on the treadmill. I always get like this around finals where I like suddenly decide to take up running because I have so much like random like nervous energy because I'm so stressed. So it's been a while. My back is also killing me right now. So I ran for half a mile without stopping. I was going really slow, but I did it. And then I did a HIIT workout, which I kind of showed. I showed a little bit of it. I did, there were five exercises, on for 30, off for 30. I did them twice through so it's like a 10 minute workout and then I did like lower body stuff so I did like lunges and stuff like that and I did like rolling the ball forward and back and then I did a couple of core things I did like windshield wipers and flutter kicks and then I stretched oh my god you guys like I was like not even taking that much of breaks I was just like going from one thing to another like obviously I took breaks between reps but just like normal person breaks not like i'm gonna go on my phone breaks which is what i end up doing a lot of the time so that was fun i like it when i have energy in the gym you know what i'm saying um so yeah i'm gonna go make dinner now also sorry if like the angles weren't the best i tried okay i don't have my like personal cameraman that can follow me around the gym <laughs> and it was really awkward because there was like someone else in there i didn't want didn't want him to think that i was filming <laughs> so i tried okay all right we're making dinner I've got pasta boiling on the stove. It's just all the rest of the chickpea pasta that I had. And then I'm about to roast these babies up in the oven. Um, I've got five Roma tomatoes, two bell peppers, and three cloves of garlic with olive oil, salt, and rosemary. And I still kind of need to like massage it in. But wow, this needs to be lowered. Anyway, so I got this recipe off of Instagram. Basically what you do is roast these in the oven for 20 minutes and then blend it with some basil. And then that's your like homemade sauce. It's just pasta with homemade sauce and I'm gonna add some spinach to it and some more fresh basil to top it with. So I'm excited. Okay, so my thoughts on this, oh, but the flavor is pretty good, but I think I might have over blended the sauce or something because it's really soupy. It's kind of like pasta soup. I don't know that I'd make it again, but this is what we're eating for dinner this week. It's not bad. Just put on the slipper socks. They're very cozy. Just showered. This is the fit. This is the stay of the room. You know, it's not perfect, but it's getting there. I'm halfway done with the section of my paper. So, it's fine. We're gonna finish everything. All my meal prepping is done. All that's, all that's taken care of at least. So, yeah. morning guys happy vlogmas day two <laughs> it's time to leave <laughs> leaving late i didn't even open this this morning uh, i'm just like i can't believe i have to go to class for another week you know what i'm saying i don't want to but we're doing it 
I just have dance this morning and then my other class in the afternoon and in my gap I need to finish writing my paper. I got like almost done. I was almost done with the paragraph I was on and then I just have one more paragraph after that. So I haven't been to my afternoon class for two whole sessions so we'll see what I missed. <laughs> And in dance, we're gonna be working on our choreography, so. Yeah, I will talk to you guys later. back from classes now have not really felt well today tbh but i know i'm just really stressed so yeah we got our finals back in dance our written finals and i should have taken this class for a grade you guys <laughs> like i kid you not i have gotten a hundred percent on every single thing we've done and i didn't really study that hard for the final i literally studied for like maybe two hours the night before and then kind of just like looked over my notes in the morning. I got over 100% and some of it was guessing. I got some lucky guesses, which also happened with my linguistics midterm. Like I'm just a good guesser. I don't even know. I mean, maybe it's cause I like studied it. And so I was like sort of familiar with the material enough to make an educated guess. But some of them were like legit guesses and same with my like midterm for linguistics. Like I remember like, not knowing it and that I hadn't read that part of the chapter. I just like guessed and it was right. But anyway, I got 52 out of 50. So I missed two points and I got four bonus points. I got every single extra credit one that I attempted. So the first question was, what's the meter of the song? I was not sure, but I put two four and it was right. Had absolutely no idea for this one, but five four, it was right. I knew that one, that was a complete guess because I didn't remember. I missed a point here. I got every single multiple choice correct. I missed one here because I didn't remember one of these fundamental movement thingies. And then I got all of these right and all of this and all of this like for the essay question. And then I got these three. Well, that was easy, but <laughs> I got these. I knew that one, but this was a, an educated guess, I guess, because I had studied that. But like, wow. But there's no way to change it now. I'm still doing it credit, no credit. It has allowed me to like not stress though, because like if I was taking it for grade, I would have studied harder for this test, you know what I'm saying? So, and like the whole thing with like the tickets to the concerts and stuff. And I don't know, we turned in our papers today, so we'll see what I got on that. But I actually tried on it. And then it's just our final performances and our response papers. So yeah, I got caught up with what my group had like done without me. It wasn't much and we like worked on it more today. We're really behind, so we're gonna have to meet outside of class and we might even have to cut part of the mix that I made because the song needs to be between three and five minutes, like the dance and everything, but ours was four and a half and I could cut it to three and it would still be okay. So we might have to do that because we're just like really behind, like there's no way we're gonna make it. I'm just gonna have some water. And I think I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl of some sort. I'm really hungry. Smoothie bowl is probably not the best idea when I'm already cold, but <laughs> we're gonna try anyway. And then in my other class, I really hadn't missed anything <laughs> that major. I mean, I didn't get attendance credit, obviously, but I'm not really that worried about it. Um, I've also gotten like really good grades in that class so far. I don't know, but like we still have so much stuff to do. All that happened in class today was people gave a presentation and then we just talked about, like we went over all the stuff that I had missed when I was gone about like when stuff's due for the rest of the semester in the next couple weeks. And like, we just have so many things that are still due. Like we have a whole nother paper, which I have not written yet. 
and we have our discussion post due, which I did them. I did my last one over Thanksgiving break, so I just have to submit them to Dropbox now and we good. He didn't mention the peer review, but I think we still have to do that where we like review other people's discussions. And then we have a presentation on our paper, study questions, which are turning in in groups, which are basically done. We just have to like compile them and turn them in. And then the take home final. That's, that's so much, you guys. And that's only for one class. Sorry, I'm trying to see if I have acai in here. Oh my God, do I? I'm just so excited. I do, I have one packet left. Score, baby. We're going for a peanut butter chocolate acai bowl. So I put in the one frozen banana, the packet of acai, probably like five or six frozen strawberries, and then a heaping tablespoon of peanut butter and a heaping spoon of cacao powder and coconut milk. So we'll see how this comes out. This looks so good. It is so good, I already tried it. Also, I put one date in it. I forgot to mention that. And then for toppings, I added chia seeds, strawberry, more peanut butter, cacao nibs, coconut, cinnamon, and honey. Oh my gosh, I already ate some of it. It tastes so good. This is like, like nectar level smoothie bowl right here. Ooh, the sun should be setting soon. Look what we did with our little garland. It's not cute, very Christmassy. Not quite yet, but soon. It doesn't feel like Christmas anymore. It felt like Christmas when I was at home and now it doesn't. Perfection. You guys have to make this. It's so good. sunset time you guys who's got time to work on a paper when there's sunset look at this i'm gonna go outside too so you guys can get a better view but this is from the deck focus on it why is it not coming out on this well it looks better in person but yeah i think i was a bit too late because it's already like mostly gone down you can see it a little bit, but still pretty, still worth it. The problem is that it's just like this, or like leasing building obstructs it so much. So like the deck's kind of the best view actually, but yeah. Vlogmas without doing Grace. Our papers. Yeah. We're both uh, struggling. I mean, May's not struggling. I am. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the fact that I'm not gonna get a good grade on it. <laughs> I, I already come to know. Terms with it. <laughs> I need to get to that point. Hey guys, I'm back from Zumba. Been back for quite a while. So it was really fun and afterward I rolled because my legs are really sore from working out yesterday. So did that. Grace and I talked and then I FaceTimed my friend from Linguistics to talk about the homework for tomorrow and then we talked for a while and then I showered and <laughs> I still have to write my paper. <laughs> I still have to edit my paper. Okay, it's written except the conclusion. So my goal is finish editing it, write the conclusion, put it away for the night, in the morning go back Look through it one more time and like then print it and be done so yeah that's what we're doing i'm gonna end this off here and i will start days three and four tomorrow thank you guys for watching tune in for more of this great content it's gonna get better okay like i can't say once i finish this paper i'll be free sailing because that's definitely not true but i have some fun things planned okay so get ready <laughs> okay thanks for watching bye